This super duper central hotel ticks all the boxes for just about any trip to Rome. Hi there, my name is Kevin and I make honest and to the point narrated video tours about unique hotels and flights all over the world. This is video number 146 and today we're at the Hotel Chapter Roma, a member of Design Hotels in Rome. Stick around for the full tour starting in 10 seconds. And welcome to Rome. If you'd like to know the exact rate that I paid for my stay or my next five videos in queue, please check out the description below. This is going to be a quickie today. Originally, I wasn't even sure if I'd be filming this hotel since it was just a meeting point for me and my traveling party, but I thought it deserved a video. In the future, for smaller hotels like this, transit hotels, or just when I don't have time to do a proper review, I'm going to be publishing 60 second shorts instead of full format videos. Don't worry though, there will still be at least two full length videos every week. The entrance is certainly understated or just, well, hidden. I walked past it twice before actually finding the hotel itself. The location is the prime selling point here though, so let's take a look. From either of Rome's airports, the Chapter Roma is around a 30 minute drive and will put you truly in the center of things, in the regular district. To put it into perspective, if you're unfamiliar with Rome, you will literally be surrounded by all of the sites that Rome is famous for. These are just a select few. The 42 room hotel opened in May of 2019 and is in a renovated heritage building dating to the late 1800s. Designed by South African Tristan de Plessis, the hotel is meant to pay homage to the area's industrial past. Here is the lobby lounge and bar named Hey Baby. An extensive drink and small food menu is served throughout the day, with the style here meant to be quote unquote, gritty but glamorous. As I mentioned, this hotel is a member of Design Hotels. They're a collection of 300 independent hotels across 60 countries, which loosely kinda sort of fall under Marriott's Bonvoy umbrella. Each property is design forward and reflects a completely original design. You'll find a mix of exposed brick, raw steel, brass and copper set in juxtaposition to vaulted ceilings, herringbone floors, and mid-century Italian furniture. Let's head up to the rooms. I'll be able to show you a peek at two categories today. First up is the Baby Double King. The room is nicely outfitted with a lot of original design touches, such as an actual key to turn on the lights, brass radio knobs to control the lighting, and a mix of textures and tones that gives the room a modern vibe without completely leaving practicality in the rearview mirror. A very well stocked, perhaps overstocked mini bar leads us to a nicely sized but sparse bathroom, complete with a large walk-in shower and single basin. Note though that the mini bar does not include any free bottles of water or coffee service.
Onto the second room, which is half the size and half the price. This was actually my room, and believe it or not, was bigger than I was expecting, and also more comfortable than I was expecting. Advertised as a French twin bed, in reality, it's just what we would call a double bed in the US. Then there was the bathroom, which I actually thought was better outfitted than the larger room, albeit without a window. Heading downstairs for breakfast, which was a good mix of a la carte dishes and a small continental buffet spread. Last up, we have the hotel's signature restaurant, Kampokori, which is meant to be a quote-unquote sexy, dark, and lavish restaurant, inspired by New York Italian restaurants in the 1930s. For me personally, the menu was a bit too fussy for the scale of the hotel, but power to them for the creativity. I did find it interesting, though, to be in an Italian restaurant in Italy that was referencing a restaurant in New York referencing Italy. And that is that. Told you it was a quickie. On to the flip-flop score. Overall, it is pricey, but all hotels in Rome are pricey, so it's all relative. Price aside, it was a nice accommodation and served its purpose with an outstanding location, comfortable rooms, and a nice breakfast spread. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss a beat. I'll see you next time in business class on board Ethiopian Airlines from Rome to Addis Ababa. And yes, my cruise videos will be coming soon, but they're going to be out of order as they are a beast to edit.